Hello, my name is Faith Walker, and I'm coming to you with a rhetorical analysis project. Here today, we'll be talking about L'Oreal's Paris new rouge signature, Parson Sunset, a matte lipstick. First, we'll be discussing the target audience. The target the audience I believe they're trying to target are models, makeup artists, women who love makeup, and especially black women. I came to this conclusion because I myself are a model, a woman who loves makeup, and a black woman. In the ad, they use a woman that is such of black. And models are normally behind, in front of the camera, I mean. So, as I am aware, models do wear makeup, and makeup artists do need good makeup, and they're showing why their makeup is good makeup. Next, we'll be discussing the ad's purpose. Well, my opinion, the ad's purpose was so they can promote why their lipstick is good use, and why there is a better brand to be used for. I believe the purpose of this ad is to show how vibrant it can look on you, how it can make you feel, and just a suggestion for the consumers. I feel like they have promoted this product so that more of their customers and even newcomers will buy from them. Next, we will discuss the ad's design. The contrast, repetition, and alignment and proximity. The contrast, I believe, is in the size. The size of the lettering versus how they zoomed in onto her lips versus how they have her standing at a forefront with half of her body showing, but at a nice size where all you see is her and nothing else around her. I think for the repetition, they played with the colors. If you look very closely, the colors are all in the same range. They all stay in the pinkish reddish family. They are different tints of pink, which I believe plays a big part in repetition because they repetitively use those colors. Alignment, they simply focus strictly on her and they blur out all the background. I feel like it is aligned to focus on her strictly and if she is centered in the middle, especially. With the proximity, proximity, excuse me, they fill the space. They fill the space very well with the wording and as well with her body, especially. Next, we will be discussing if it is effective or is it ineffective. Let's see. I believe this ad is definitely effective. Now, let's get into the ethos, pathos, and lothos. Ooh, so sorry. I apologize. Logos. First, ethos. I believe ethos is being used in this ad by their credibility because this is a popular makeup brand that is mostly used in these stores that have huge name brands such as Macy's, uh, Sephora, JCPenney's, and many other stores. This is a a nationwide company from Paris. They are known for their makeup. They're known for their company in general. They are a credible company in themselves, as well as the fact that they use their actual city to brand themselves. If you pay attention into the ad, you can see in the background that that's, that's definitely somewhere possibly foreign. And the fact that they use this lipstick as Parson Sunset. There's a sunset behind her. So they definitely make it feel real 
incredible. Next, we have pathos. The emotions it evokes for target audience. Well, as I look here, I see that she is smiling, quite bright, and she looks very confident. And if I'm not mistaken, self-love has a meaning to it. And she looks like she loves herself very much. So I believe that this ad is supposed to make you feel confident and make you feel loved to love yourself. And if I'm not mistaken, pink and red kind of fit in the category of love. So I feel as if they use these colors and her smile to brighten up and give the emotion of love and well, self-love mainly, because I feel like she's hugging herself because of love. I feel like she is quite confident, and this lipstick is supposed to represent the confidence in her. Next, we talk about logos. The image, the, the message, the image, or words are sending. Well, I think this kind of ties in with the pathos. I think that the message is trying to give, well, First off, let's start off with the wording. Lush texture, more color. So as you can see, next to it, it has her lips, where it shows you how it is smooth on her lips, and it's not like a rough tech. It's not, you can't feel the texture at all because of how smooth it is. Then on top of that, it's showing how her skin versus the color, how bright it shows on her skin. And that is to give the message off of how their lipstick is quite vibrant and more effective on your lips. Next, you have sign your lips with statement color, barrier lip sensation. So, uh, as you can see, they're trying to give off the fact that their lipstick is longer lasting and it makes a big statement. It makes it it makes a huge sign. It, it attracts people. It shows a lot of character and they want you to understand that if you wear their lipstick you will definitely make a mark so as you can see there's a small print under less texture more color because you are worth it so they're also trying to give off like i said energy of self-love make you feel confident they're trying to give off this image and energy the fact that if you wear your lipstick You'll feel extremely confident in who you are. You'll feel beautiful. You'll feel happy. You'll feel worth it. So I really think they made this ad very effective to people. I think people will want to buy this because of how vibrant it is and then how she looks wonderfully beautiful in it and how she makes it look and portrays it. I think they have tied this very well together. So I believe it is effective. This concludes my presentation. I hope you enjoyed my ad on L'Oreal's Paris Lipstick Edition.